This is Jeffrey Gettleman in Abia, Sudan. Abia doesn't look especially strategic. It's poor, underdeveloped, full of grass huts and dirt roads. But underground there is oil, and two heavily armed ethnic groups, the Misseria and the Dinka, are battling for control. Many fear this place could explode. <laughs> Southern Sudan is wrapping up a referendum on its independence, which will likely break the southern part of Sudan from the north. But no matter the outcome, this border area is going to remain volatile and a lingering threat to peace. The history of violence goes back decades. Right behind me over my shoulder is a mass grave from fighting in 2008 where hundreds of people were killed. We were told that something like 200 civilians were buried here because so many people had fled the town and there was nothing else to do with the bodies. In the market, we talked to a Misseria woman whose son had been killed. <laughs> For elders of the Dinka tribe, it is about land and legacy. This is about a future of generation to come. That's why the frustration is there and that's why we think there is no way we can let this go like this. We got to declare it on our own and if that means going back to war, it will be better to die with dignity than living without it. They feel that much of their land has already been taken and they are not willing to budge another inch. No compromise on land. I don't know nations or people without land. We cannot call ourselves Dinka people without land. If we don't have land, we are not, uh, we don't have existence. Tensions have risen sharply here over the past few weeks, and over 40 people have been killed. As we witness this week, Abia is a tapestry of different cultures. There's really no easy way to divide Sudan. Each side sees Abia as its own. And with the new country expected to be born in several months, the conflict in this area may only get worse. This is the beginning of another era of fighting in Sudan. There is no way we can remain in, in the north while the south is going. Well, we will declare that we are going to the south. And if they attack us, let it be. <laughs>